Good morning and welcome to the Australian Stock Reports online morning update for the 21st of September 2012. Global markets were mostly weaker overnight following the release of yet more disappointing economic data. The bad news began in China where data revealed another monthly contraction in its manufacturing sector. Concerns of a worsening economic slowdown were magnified by data in the US that showed a bigger than expected rise in weekly jobless claims and a fifth consecutive month of manufacturing contraction in the Philadelphia area. However, the mood on the street lifted on reports Spain is heading towards a sovereign bailout and after three Fed officials voiced their support for QE3. The key US indices finished well off the session's lows with the Dow managing a positive close after being down almost 80 points at one stage. There was mostly red in commodity markets with oil extending its slump to four sessions and copper sliding on fears a shrinking Chinese manufacturing sector will dent demand for the red metal. With the weak economic data diminishing risk appetite, the US dollar rose against a number of other currencies. The Aussie fell half a percent on the back of the Chinese manufacturing data, whilst the yen strengthened amid speculation this week's Bank of Japan monetary stimulus expansion wasn't aggressive enough. Overnight, the SPY arrested its declines through 43.90 before bouncing in line with the recovery on Wall Street. It remains to be seen whether the index can break through the 44.30 resistance region in today's session. Following the mixed offshore leads, the Aussie market is on track to open around 10 points higher later this morning. In our morning update, we are long biased across Asian markets, the Hang Seng and Nikkei, whilst in the Australian equity section we have a short commentary on NRW Holdings. If we like what we see this morning, we may send an SMS alert with more specific trade details. That wraps up the Australian Stock Report morning update. Thank you for listening.